You're really stretched out. Wow, that is something amazing. I'm impressed. John. All right, old buddy. I want to just run you at full speed right out of the get-go. Let you have a look at yourself. And I'm going to bring you back. And then we're going to talk about your game. And we're going to talk about it in parts and pieces. All right. So um, I like the fact that you stand with your hips open, your shoulders open. Now, the ball location is a bit suspect at the moment. Uh, I think it would probably be better of tucked in a little bit. In other words, not outside of your elbow. I never want to see the ball outside of the elbow at the beginning. So, but I'm going to put you in motion. You take three steps. But right there, you get yourself in a lot of trouble. Now, I know your mark is over there somewhere around second arrow. Or between the second and the third arrow. And the problem is, is that you're standing clear over here. Well, let's see, there's 20, you're standing about 30 bird, 30 board right here. That means you got to walk, you got to get at an angle, you got to head up to that foul line and kind of in this direction with your body. So, in a sense, you're sort of walking into the path of the ball. The other side of that is, is that, of course, uh, it doesn't do our arm swing any good, so... Once you get moving, you put that ball way out to the right. And because gravity is going to affect it on the downswing, see how you're just sort of like a big circle? That ball just kind of goes around a curve. Now, it does get behind your shoulder right here. And you make an effort to, on your second step, get out of the way. That's really good. That keeps that ball right there in play. Uh, here's the big deal. I'm going to draw a line from somewhere down here just as a reference point so we can refer to the bowling ball in relation to that line. You can see how far away it is from this line. Watch what happens. So that ball made an arc. Now if I were to track it, it went from here Went over the hill, and as you can see, it moved about eight inches to the right. Now, in the, this particular shot, you actually go high and go through the nose, and I would imagine you missed your mark a couple boards left. So there's a really good reason for that. So that ball swinging out to the right, what happens is, look at that. It, because the motion is gone over and it's just natural it's going to miss to the left of what you're looking at so how do we fix all of that what well, you can't have that much eight inches of uh change in the backswing is just too much ball can't go that much if you miss by one inch here that's equal to five boards at the pins so if you went one inch further out you miss five boards left. If you don't get there and you're short of it by one inch, you're going to miss the head pin to the right. So controlling that, that little loop behind you, which you can't see and probably can't feel, uh, is probably your biggest liability. You get pretty close to the, the ball in where we want it. You're very strong. you got your feet underneath you. That job, you did really well on, on this part. Your hips rotated in with your shoulders. So the foul line position, very, very good. It's like the three steps, two steps prior, that where you get in trouble. One of the things you could do, I'm going to bring you back to the beginning, is you could just pick your feet up and give yourself a new starting location. So I would just move you over about 10 boards. And have you stand in that box there. What that will let you do is it will let you walk in a straighter line to your target. 
And if you don't push the ball away from your body at the beginning, and okay, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. If this bowling ball right now, instead of being there, or there, that's ah, not a good picture. Let me do it again. I want to move, here, I'll do it a different way. Get rid of that. I want the ball to move from here, this way. I want this arm swing to be as straight and line here as I can make it. To do that, I'd want the center of the ball on that line. So you can imagine a ramp next to your body like this blue line. Drop that ball down that ramp. It will go right up directly behind your shoulder and return directly back down. To do that, you need to move over and give yourself a chance that you don't walk into the path of the ball as well. So you got two problems. You walk into the path of the ball and you start it out in Texas. Not that Texas is all that bad, but so you can see what I'm talking about here. And it's left off your hand. You actually hit about third arrow, so I don't think you're aiming at third. And if you were, then you don't know how to line up. Because that ball went right through the nose. I'm only funning with you. All right, I'm going to do your side view. Let me get you shut down here. Go to side. All right, full speed. Well, that was interesting. Do it again. My camera didn't like that. That's pretty athletic, John. You know, um, you're covering. You're standing where I stand, and I take five steps. Well, that's an interesting thought, isn't it? So, part of it is, uh, okay, I'm not sure what all this is, and that has to be consistent. I don't see you looking down to see where it's at. It looks like a feeling thing. you got to you got to start in the same place. Most, I mean, for... To, for consistency, you should get that located very, very well. Okay, there's our first step. And there's a gigantic mother may I step. Now from there to the final line, you're going to get there, but boy, you are really pushing it and sliding. That's... <laughs> It's pretty good. I, I can't imagine telling someone they had to do that. They probably throw rocks at me. I mean, you do it really well. I'm going to give you a little challenge, okay? We're going to go back to that guy that was standing there left on the other side from behind. I want you to move up with your heels in front of the last set of dots. Get your steps under control a little more, okay? Because... Dude, these are some seriously long <laughs> steps to maintain balance and really into what you do. That's amazing. Move up. Learn how to bowl under control a little more. We can always add more power to the game. I mean, that's for sure. you got plenty of horsepower. I mean, you you bend your elbow. You, get, you cup the ball. You can catch it in reverse. Watch this. I like the rag in the left hand, too. See how you can bend your elbow here? There's a lot of great players that do that. They always have a high rev rate. They're always looking for more control. Get control. Get con Never have to worry about hook, but we do worry about getting the control. You get control by getting the body under control, all right? You're really stretched out. Wow, that is something amazing. I'm impressed. Uh, I haven't given you an easy task. That moving is going to cause you some issues. 
make sure you don't have to bowl a tournament uh, right immediately after you start working on it, okay? And all the best of luck. I look forward to seeing you next year. Now from there to the final line, you're going to get there, but boy, you are really pushing it and sliding. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> I can't imagine telling someone they had to do that. They probably throw rocks at me. But you do it really well. Because, dude, these are some seriously long <laughs> steps to maintain balance and really into what you do. That's amazing. You got plenty of horsepower. I mean, you're you bend your elbow, you get you cup the ball, you can catch it in reverse. Watch this. I like the rag in the left hand too. Whoop. See how you can bend your elbow here? There's a lot of great players that do that. They always have a high rev rate. They're always looking for more control. Get control. Get con Never have to worry about hook, but we do worry about getting the control. You get control by getting the body under control, all right? You're really stretched out. Wow, that is something amazing.